Welcome to this short video. It will guide you through the process of designing a custom control panel to control your DPA or Delta DSP amplifier. Perfect for use in a studio, KTV, bar, club, restaurant or house of worship. This level of control can easily be deployed across Android and iOS devices. Firmware from January 2021 responds to OSC control. It is an easy firmware upgrade to get these features in existing units. In this example, we have a refresh button to update the panel levels, some source selection, i.e. switching between analog music and Dante Sport inputs, some different EQ settings for during the day and during the night, level faders for four zones, main room, room one, room two, and the corridors and bathrooms. OSC commands are available to control the following memory recalls, all types, individual mutes, pattern mutes, absolute gains, incremental gains, absolute delays, and incremental delays. We are going to design the panel in the Touch OSC software from Hexler and deploy the panel on a smart Android or iOS device. We will configure an amplifier and smart device to talk together. We will use the DSP built into the amplifiers to switch between a music playback source and a satellite sport channel, or the speaker management, speaker protection, source switching, and room EQ is done by the amplifiers built in DSP. The control panel could be deployed in a wall mounted Android or iOS smart device running Touch OSC or simply a manager's phone. So this is how our panel looks in the Touch OSC editor. As you can see, this design is nearly finished. It just needs a few more controls adding. We already have a level fader for the main room, level fader for room one, level fader for the diner. Now let's add a level fader for the corridors and bathrooms. Right clicking the background displays a list of controls which we can add to the panel. However, in this instance, it is easier to copy and paste some controls which are already on the panel. So select the control you want to copy, Control c Control v to copy and paste, or use the copy and paste commands on the taskbar. Use the cursor keys to move these controls to where you want them. Now edit the commands and labels to suit. Level controls can work from minimum to maximum or be a centered type. You can also specify the upper and lower gain range, i.e. set a volume window you want it to work over. The restrooms and corridors are on AUX4 on our amplifiers. You'll notice the gain range in this application is set from minus 40 to minus 6 dBs. If these level controls were stereo 2 channel controls, we must remember to gang them in the amplifier settings. Now let's add some memory recalls to select some settings for during the day and during the night. Again, it is easier to copy and paste, then move to suit. Let's select yellow buttons for daytime and blue for nighttime. Let's change the button labels to day and night. Our memory recalls to select music or sport are source selection memories. Our day and night memory recalls are input memories as these contain input EQ, dynamic EQ, input delay and input level. These are stored in memory 3 and memory 4. Now let's change the commands on the copied buttons from source memory recalls to input memory recalls. Let's add a time and battery life indicator for the smart device. This is useful feedback for the panel operators. In the bottom right is a refresh button. This allows the panel to retrieve the current state of gains and mutes. Useful after starting the app or after memory recalls to get the current system status. Once we are happy with our design, let's save it and email the file to the target phone or tablet. Great news, it is the same file for Android and iOS devices. 
While that mail is en route to our smart device, let's configure our amplifier's OSC settings. Use the front panel interface to enable the OSC option in the interface menu. When this interface is enabled, you will be prompted to configure the following. OSC RX port, the port the amplifier listens to commands on, 8000 in our case. OSC TX transmit, the amplifier transmits its status when asked by this port, 9000 in our case. IP address, this is the IP address of the smart device running the OSC panel. In our instance, 192.168.0.41. Important note, when implementing OSC control, it is worth considering using fixed IP addressing on your network or very long lease times on your DHCP server. The amplifier is now ready to receive OSC commands. Let's run the panel on our smart device, but first we need to configure the OSC app on the smart device to talk to our amplifiers. In the Touch OSC application on your smart device, the following settings need configuring. In the OSC menu, the host is the IP address of your amplifier. The address of our amp is 192.168.0.68. Pressing enter and next will make your amplifier display its IP address. We should configure the port outgoing at 8000 and port ingoing at 9000. If you're running this panel on an iOS device, be sure to enable Core MIDI. And on any device in the options menu, be sure to enable bundle messages. Open the email on your smart device and save the touch OSC file. In the OSC app, select layout and select add from file and browse to the touch OSC file you just saved. We have assumed your amplifier and tablet are both on the same ethernet network. So voila, pressing the done button in the touch OSC app will run the panel and give you OSC control of your amplifier. For demonstration purposes, let's change from day mode to night mode, let's change from music playback to sport, and finally adjust some levels to suit. Thanks for taking time out to watch this video. Please head over to the XTA and MC Squared website for more information.